Hi guys, my name is Teacher Mac, and today we are going to talk about coordinating conjunctions. What is a conjunction? A conjunction is a word that grammatically connects words, phrases, or clauses together. There are many kinds of conjunctions in grammar. We have coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and correlative conjunctions. To understand all about coordinating conjunctions, we need to know how to use fanboys. What does fanboys stand for? F is for, A is end, N is nor, B is but, O is for or, Y is for yet, and S is for so. So first, let's talk about for. What is the meaning of for as a conjunction? For is to show reason or purpose. Sometimes because can be used instead. Example, I go to the library for I love to read. So we use for here to tell what is the reason of the subject. And that reason is for I love to read. Sometimes we use for as a preposition. For example, this cake is for Sarah. So this sentence means that I will give Sarah a cake. So, we use for here as a preposition and not as a conjunction. End. We use end to connect two or more ideas. The conjunction end is used to join two or more items that make sense with each other. For example, I like to play football and watch movies. So in this sentence, we join the phrases play football and watch movies. Nor. Nor shows a non-contrasting negative idea. It adds more negativity to the sentence. For example, he never borrows nor lends things. So this sentence means he never borrows and he never lends his things. But we use this conjunction to join two items that contradict or create a certain tension with each other. For example, the dress was beautiful but slightly expensive. So in this sentence, the positive idea is the dress was beautiful and the negative idea is slightly expensive. Or, this conjunction shows choice or option. For example, do you like coffee or tea? In this example, you are given a choice, coffee or tea. Yet, this conjunction is very similar to but. It means something like nevertheless or but at the same time. For example, he can be strict yet understanding at the same time. So, this conjunction shows consequence. For example, the girl was feeling ill, so she went to bed. So, this sentence tells us what she did after she felt sick. So, that is all about coordinating conjunctions. Thanks for watching.